Let's go over the future of Star Wars when it comes to President of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, and Disney Star Wars. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, you guys may have heard the big news yesterday about Kathleen Kennedy and Disney's relationship. Now, looking at everything that has been happening between both Kathy Kennedy and Disney's Bob Iger, the CEO of all things Star Wars and Disney related of that like. So, we do know that as of right now, Kathleen Kennedy, you know, nobody really trusts her when it comes to all these different projects that are currently, you know, in the works when it comes to, you know, what we saw with The Last Jedi ever since that released back in December of 2017 by director and writer Ryan Johnson and, of course, what Kennedy approved. I want to actually expand on what Randolph had to say, Grace Randolph. MovieWeb actually had a nice report on it. If you guys would like to go ahead and check out the report below in the description and Randolph's video, go ahead and check that out as well. Now, Disney actually does indeed have a big problem with Kathleen Kennedy, and I wanted to dive into this all the more in depth. So, looking at this, this is what Randolph had to say, specifically. There was a call, a secret conference call, with all the top Star Wars brass in attendance. The kind of call where apparently security guards stand outside the different conference room doors and make sure that no one eavesdrops. But here's the kicker, top press. Alright, not only only our Star Wars, but also Marvel and Pixar were also in on the call, but listening only, likely at the request of Bob Iger, who wants their advice on how to fix this shit show, and yes, he does know it's a shit show. Evidence? The word that he wants Kathleen Kennedy out, he actually does, but nobody will take her job. Several have been approached, but turned down, including J.J. Abrams, who turned it down flat and didn't even hesitate. Now, that's what Randolph had to say in her her video and this was all coming from a quote on movieweb.com about Randolph and what she said in this entire report involving Kathleen Kennedy, Bob Iger, Disney Star Wars, etc. Now it goes on to state, why does nobody want to run Star Wars? Well, it's probably because for many of you, but let me spell it out for you, and that's in Risk Averse Hollywood, nobody wants to run a house divided, which apparently is what Kathleen Kennedy has created. It's divided between her loyalists. Now, what's really interesting is, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but Frank Marshall, the husband of Kathleen Kennedy, liked this tweet recently. Your wife is getting an unfair shake by Star Wars fans. True fans know that Bob Iger is protecting his own very bad decisions by allowing her to take the heat for it. Let her know for morale. Now, the husband of Kathleen Kennedy, who is also a producer, actually liked that tweet on Twitter of everything that has to do with how the fans are treating Kathleen Kennedy and how, of course, Bob Iger is handing down all these problems to Kathy Kennedy. Now, if you guys had to ask me, I don't believe that Bob Iger really caused any of this. With Kathleen Kennedy being the head of Lucasfilm, approving all of the creatives involved within all these different projects, such as The Force Awakens, Rogue One, Solo, The Last Jedi, Episode 9, and everything else, even approving the Ryan Johnson trilogy. This was all Kennedy. Now, Bob Iger, however, he is the head of Disney, so he's not just running Star Wars, he is running everything. And that's why Kathleen Kennedy is head of Lucasfilm. She is the individual who is, you know, essentially supposed to know exactly what Star Wars really is. And I think that's where the problem lies. Now, she's really more so on the business end of things, but not on the creative side of things. And this is where I believe that you need an individual, whether it's a woman or a man, as the head of Lucasfilm running things on both ends, or at least having a co-partner, like having a partner involved. Maybe you can have one person involved on the creative side of things and one person involved on the business side of things. Have a double thing going on there. So I think that, you know, when we're looking at everything that has been happening, Disney does indeed have a big problem with Kathleen Kennedy. Now, I think that this is all truly stemming from the box office results of Solo, A Star Wars Story. Now, that movie, from the last time that I looked, it only sits, it's stagnant right now at 390-some million globally speaking. 
and that's honestly not too well in comparison to both The Last Jedi, Rogue One, and The Force Awakens, etc. So, looking at what Disney has in store, they even tried to get JJ on board as replacing Kathleen Kennedy. Now, the thing that really surprises me, and I, got, I actually went over this in my last video, the thing is, alright, what happens with Kathleen Kennedy, I think will only make the fans feel a whole lot better about the future of Star Wars if, you know, the successor to her promises that things are going to be fixed and that things are going to be a whole lot better, you know, on the horizon. I think that if you have a successor that really knows Star Wars down to the core and also knows how to run a business, I think that's when you're going to really notice a lot of big changes and really delivering the heavy Star Wars lore that a lot of Star Wars fans out there love. Now, there is a lot of debate on what's going on right now behind the scenes over at Disney and Lucasfilm. So it really is raising a, a ton of questions because what's really happening when Kathleen Kennedy, you know, let's say she doesn't get fired, let's say she doesn't step down or decides to quit before Star Wars Celebration and she does end up, you know, being seen on stage, what's gonna happen? right? That's the thing that a lot of people are thinking about right now, including myself. Exactly. What would the reaction be? We know that there's a lot of hardcore fans that go to those, you know, those type of conventions. And I believe that this convention, this Star Wars celebration next year, of course, is going to have the most attendees in history, apparently, over in Chicago. And I think that it sold out or it sold a whole lot more tickets faster because we skipped the whole entire year. So many hardcore fans were very much patient and eager to get to the next Star Wars celebration. If you had to ask me guys, my own personal opinion, I think we're going to notice a huge change by fall of 2018. I think that when the Star Wars live action TV series starts filming in fall slash winter is when you're really going to notice this big shift in everything when it comes to Kathleen Kennedy and how Disney is running Star Wars, etc. So I really do think that things are starting to take shape. As far as episode 9 goes, that's all done. Nothing can be undone. The script is finished, everything is finalized, unless they're going to do some massive reshoots and they see that something's very much wrong, similar to what they did with Solo. That's when things will be changed, but as of right now, they are sticking to the script, they are sticking to what they have planned, and that's that. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.